Okay, this is old Jim Bob out here in another secret river. Out here doing some fishing. And I'm going to try to do some uh, filming of it. And to see how it works out. I don't know what it's going to look like on a TV till I get it back into the house. But I'm uh, checking out here. I'm doing a little fishing show to show you what's like here out here in the beautiful secret rivers of Jim Bob from Jim Bob's commentary channel. Now see I'm using here a, a little old crawdad looking thing and we'll see if we can't catch us a bass or something other like that on it. And uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know what you're getting out there on the camera. That's the problem. I can't tell what you're seeing. I know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing one pretty ass river. That's uh, what I'm seeing with no fish biting in it this morning. This is uh, early in the morning. I was in here at 6.30 and uh, just the camera up here. And, uh, so I come in here at 6.30 in the morning and I'm just now getting around to showing you what's going on. Here's another thing that I like to use. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I got here. It's a it's a Betts Beetle spin and uh, that's a 1 uh, 16th ounce right there. That uh, catches a lot of fish. Now I got one that's a cricket color. Uh, I do better with a cricket color than this color right here. So, But we'll see what this one does this morning and uh, maybe we'll change off to a cricket color later on. So let's see what happens here. Alright, here we go. And uh, I'm using this new Zepco uh, fire lock like thing here. You just pull that trigger like that and uh, shingo boy look at that. Pull that baby right on out there like that. I got a Shimano does the same thing. It's called a quick fire and uh, I'm using that too. And so we're going to see if we can get some of these fish to come on out here and latch on. Yeah. And there's a turtle up there on the log. He's out for the sun. He's early early turtle. I was going to call him a bird, but he ain't no bird. He's a turtle. But he ain't out there getting him some sun. We'll get on down here and back on back here in the woods and see what we can see. And this here river, it's got uh, a farmer's on both sides of it. And uh, you can't uh, get in but up there on the bridge. And... Uh, a lot, a lot of people don't come back here, but some people that knows about it does, like me. They like it back here. It's in a nice place. And uh, well, the problem is, one time I come back here and I went fishing and looked over in the water, and by God, there's a dead body in here. And a whole fella had been frogging the night before. And uh, I guess he had a heart attack, it looked like to me. Uh, he's holding his left hand up on his chest. Uh, and uh, looked like he was floating, but he was deader than hell. And uh, so we called the law. They come on out there and they decided there was no foul play on my part. And I went down and found his boat and stuff I did. Brought his boat back for him and for his family and like that. And there's that turtle out there. And uh, let me see how I'm going to get him up. I don't want to disturb the turtle, but I want to fish on that log. So uh, I can't help it. If I'm determined a turtle to get a fish, I say, that's the law, you're allowed to do that. So anyway, we're going back here. I hope this is coming out on the camera. You know, I want to see, I don't know, later I sure do hope that I can see something on the camera. Well, I have to slide on down in here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful morning. This is the 30th day of July, 2016, and uh, Jim Bob's after them, but they ain't a biting. I got one little speckled perch up there a while ago. He flipped a hook. Well, he weren't big enough to keep anyways. That's all I've got this morning so far. I ain't even got another bowl. So maybe I'll get something later. I'm sure hoping. Now I'm evaluating these two reels, the one from uh, Shimano and the one from uh, Zipco, 
they're both the same type of reel and uh, they both have uh, pluses and minuses I believe I'm kind of liking this Zepco uh, Zepco's been around a long time so is Shimano and they both make good stuff but this thing is really smooth except it backlashes every now and then uh, I ain't found that on the Shimano yet it seemed like they have no backlash, but it don't have a little trigger thing up here as good. This little trigger thing is a little shorter. And, uh, and that little quarter inch, which with your finger on, makes a difference to me. Well, we'll see. I'm still trying to get me some fish in the boat. I oh, sure would like for y'all to see that. I'm back over here and see about this. This here will, uh, we'll try this, uh, crawdad over here. See if we can't get old bass come out of there. There's some nice bass. I caught a nice bass back in here one time. It's back on behind us. He's about, uh, oh, I'd say three pounds. It was nice to catch him on four pound test line. It was fun. And, uh, uh, catch them back here all the time. There's a bunch of big fish back in here now. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about no little fish. There's some big ass fishes in here. You just gotta find them, get them whenever they're ready to eat, and get them the right color stuff they want to eat. Uh, that's what you gotta do. They said, "Hey, uh, if this works out, this is gonna be Jim Bob's uh, first fishing show." Um, Jim Bob's commentary channel is where you'll see it on YouTube. Jim Bob's first official fishing show, even if I don't catch a fish. On account of I'm a show off my rivers, I felt like, well, I don't know, Mike. There ought to be a, a bass right there on that log. Some ought to be on that log right there. It's hungry. What's the matter with these damn ass fish? The lazy fishes I've ever seen. The lazy ain't hungry, won't eat. I've never seen nothing like it. I don't know. I swear. That ain't no good cast there. You can't catch nothing like that. You gotta do better than that. I'm gonna change my, uh, I'll show you my little tricks here. I'm gonna change this beetle spin out real quick. Put it over on, on the tan side. Put a tan one on there. Cricket color one. And uh, let me hurry up here. I to get my scissors out. I'm wasting film on here. I can't catch no fish. I ain't got stuff in the line in the water. Put that down there. Right here. Put this. It's the one I want. That's the one I want right there. It's a tan color. Alright. So what I do is the one I cut off. I guess it's in there. Okay, alright. Now that's in there. And here's how you do it. Yeah, yeah. There's a way to tie a line and there's a way not to tie a line. And uh, I have to use this slot here. And I just double this right here like that. Double that up. Between your fingers. Okay. Like just like that. Shove it right through there. Like that. Now you see that? Uh, right like that. Now you take this loop right here. Tie a knot of that loop. Like so. Take that loop. Put your lure through it. Like so. Pop that little right through there. Like that. And go. There we go. Trim that off. There you gotcha. Cricket color beetle spin. You want to buy them, you gotta get them from a, from a store there. Oh, you got nobody there. Now, 
All right, so over here on the left side of the bank, I'm looking, I see a little creek coming up over there. That's another place they say, and there are in the fishermen people, the people who write the books. They say that's where the fish are. All the way through right there in the creek, where the creek part comes out. Uh, or the deep banks up there like that. And now uh, see if you can get them. So let's throw her at. Oh, hope we don't get in the tree. Uh, all right, didn't get in the tree. That's good. Throw that right up in there. Well, let's see, we're coming up to the creek. There's the creek. So I can throw it in there without getting in the tree. And go see if they're there. Let's see. Get it in here. Oh shit, hit the tree. One time, I don't know if you can see this. I caught a big bluegill doing this right here. I thought I got caught in the tree. All right, that got out, got out of the tree. Yay! Got out of the tree without getting hung up. There you go, I'm running in the creek. Where's fish? Come on, fish. Right there. You weren't there. He's somewhere else. This river goes on back. Oh, I'd say two miles, maybe a mile and a half. And it narrows way down. And uh, it gets about 20 feet wide, maybe less than that in some places. Lots of tree limbs fell in the fall and the stuff over there. I haven't been down there in years. And the water gets faster, of course, down there toward the bottom. Boy, there's some fish down in there. And then it widened back out again. Uh, after about a quarter mile. And, uh, and there's a big log jam, or was. You know, of course, the river's changed. That may not, that's been so long now, it probably ain't that way no more. Uh, some deep water down in there. Where it opens up, and then that's as far as I've been. One of these days, I was going to do it today, but I changed my mind. I was going to just paddle all the way down in and go way back in there and just carry me saw and all that stuff because I had to cut the tree limbs to get back there see what I could catch. And I figured I wouldn't do it today. Ah, oh, trash. Ah, funny. No fish. Lamb up there. Right, getting close to the dead man's curve up here where the fellow was in the water. I don't know if I run out of film or I don't even know if I'm out of film now. I couldn't tell you. You know, you think, it's just me on this river, I ain't making a lot of racket to talking to you a little bit, maybe. You'd think, you could see some deer or something. And animals are smart, they know. Stay away from man, man will kill them. So I guess that's why I'm not. I'd like to see some animals. I always like it when I see deer and, and them hogs. Them that day, I like to see them dogs. I told my son-in-law, Virgil, about it. <laughs> Boy, he's going to come out here and get him some hogs. He's a hunter. He loves to hunt. 
Rainfish. Oh, I love that boy. He's a good fella. Oh. He loves my daughter. Shout out to you, Virgil. Okay, here we go. It looked like that'd be a producer there. Another thing about these beetle spins is uh, although they get hung up, they're pretty good about not getting hung up. They'll roll over a log pretty good. And uh, I like that about them. Bet's beetle spins. All right, Bet's, you got a bump now. You need to send me a whole card full of cricket color beetle spins. I'm kind of. Jim Bob being a celebrity the way he is, and endorsing, I'm endorsing bets. I, I, even if they don't pay me, I'll endorse them. I, I, I'd like to get some free free lures from them, but uh, even if I don't, I still endorse them. It ain't it. Good beetle spin. They just make them hard to find. They won't let you buy from them direct. You got to find somebody to sell them. And, I don't find a whole lot of people sell this cricket color. So that makes it hard. And uh, like that. Uh, around this corner of Dead Man's Curve. Oh yeah. Oh man. <sighs> it may seem morbid, but I'm hoping I'd uh when I get up here there's a bunch of tree limbs where that fellow was laying. And I could catch some fish off of them. Uh, this uh, stick up right here, where these trees are, them limbs, that's always, almost always caught me a fish right there. So I'm going to stop there first and get something off of that. Be my first fish today. I sure do need to catch one. That's the problem. I always come in here flying too fast with the boat. I get up too close on the big gum log. I can't catch them like that. There, gum it. Oh, I see that. That's yeah, just a son of a bitch right there. That's just a bitch. Come on, boat, stop. I've caught fish here in this spot many, many times. Usually one or two, and that's it. That happened to mess the whole fishing spot up and then it won't bite. I'll move it over here and see what happens. <laughs> 